the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. What can't you do? What won't you do? Nothing impossible. You are listening to the Good Night Message with your servant, Father Eustace Siame, a selection of Don Bosco. On this Sunday, the 28th of July 2024, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University in Rome, Italy, with an encouraging and strengthening message in line with the Word of God for today, entitled, Nothing is too small in the hands of God. What is hard for you to do, it doesn't exist to Because you are not a man that changes your mind. Oh, those that know you will... Today we read from John chapter 6 verse 1 to 15 where we find an impactful illustration of God's miraculous abilities and his compassionate nature. Jesus seeing a large crowd following him due to his signs of healing the sick ascends a mountainside and tests his disciple Philip by asking, Where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? Philip, overwhelmed by the immense crowd, responds that it would take more than half a year's wages to buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. However, Andrew, another disciple, brings forward a boy who has five small barley loaves and two small fish. But he too questions the utility of such a meager offering among so many. Yet Jesus takes this small offering, gives thanks, and distributes it. Miraculously, all 5,000 people ate until they were full, and 12 baskets of leftovers were collected. This story emphasizes a profound truth. Nothing is too small in the hands of God. Even the most modest offering, when given to Jesus, can be multiplied beyond our greatest expectations. The same principle can be found in various scriptures. For instance, in 2 Kings chapter 4, Elisha and the widow's oil where God multiplied the small amount of oil to fill numerous jars, paying off the widow's debts and providing for her family. This has inspired me to write a poem about this great event. And it goes, By the shores of Galilee, in the dusty, sunlit air, a crowd had gathered, weary, seeking love and care. With five loaves and two small fish, a meal so meek and small, yet Jesus blessed it, feeding thousands, providing for them all. In the hands of Jesus, what little you possess multiplies in wondrous ways to heal, to serve, to bless. No gift too small, no offering slight, in his grace all darkness turns to light. When storms of life around you rage and your faith feels so frail, remember how the fish and bread caused hope to prevail. Trust in God's provision, His boundless loving plan, for nothing is too small within the hands of the great I Am. Though our efforts seem but few like ripples in the sea, They can resonate through time with his love as the key. So give your heart, your hands, your all, your simple daily prayer. He turns the humble into great with his tender care. So do not fear the humble start, nor deem your gift too small. For in the hands of Christ our Lord, he magnifies them all. The five loaves and the two small fish remind us of his grace that nothing is too small for God within his warm embrace. In moments of despair and doubt, 
when paths seem rough and steep, recall the miracle he did beside the trunk or deep. For every act of love and faith, no matter how minute, can be transformed in God's own hands, bearing eternal fruit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. It is hard for you to do, to do.